Maria wants me to replace this kitchen sink. I don't know if y'all can see that up there or not. The problem is this thing is supposed to be built like this where it has two screws on it but the one that is on ours does not have the two screws all it has is two empty holes where two screws should have been and it's screwed so tight that I can't get it loose with a hand now the reason we have to replace it is because that right there broke off and that thing just flops around like an old goose head it looks like it's going to take two people so I'm going to let this record and Maria is probably just going to have to bleep some stuff and of course Maria took off in the truck to go do a photo shoot and I don't have any tools so what I've done here I've hooked this coat hanger through the hole in the bolt that the screw should have been through and I'm going to try and twist the faucet head to get it to come loose and see if that works. It did not. I can't get that nut off. Uh -oh. What I'm going to have to do is try and wedge something up behind it. And then you turn that, grab the handle and rotate it. Okay. All right. Turn it. Which way? Just pick a way. Oh. All right. No, that's the wrong way. <laughs> it got tighter when I did that. Yeah. All right, hold it right there. Woohoo! Not a one person job, I take it. No. <laughs> oh, lots of water coming out. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> this is what was in there. Notice there's no screw holes. You're supposed to be able to back the screws out, which leaves this loose, and you can just undo it. So, with that in place, and she went, that held it just enough to unscrew it, and it came out. Now, we got a hole. No turning back now. This is what we're going to put in. Now y'all may be wondering what that is. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Oh, I'm wondering. Nice. That one's different. This is what that nut is supposed to look like. You get it up there as tight as you can. And you put those on there and it puts pressure on it. 
Um, this is the weight. But this little thing here, motion activated. Oh, okay. All right, push down on it. All right, that'll work. So we got to get from female to female. And I'm hoping that's what these are. Yeah. It is absolutely not. Hmm. Where's that other faucet? So that so I need to adapt this to male. So that's the right size on that. I need one of these, female on this side, male on this side. So off to the blue stove. All right, now one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to turn that on and it's going to spray water everywhere, or we're going to be good. Well. So, I'm going to turn the water on a little bit. You need to be able to yell. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, the water is on. Okay. Look and see if it's spraying water anywhere under there. It doesn't appear to be. Alright, now run the water. I mean, there is a little water in here. Was there water in here already? There is a little bit. Okay. But there shouldn't be any water on the connections. All right, I'm running the water. Nothing's coming out down here. So what we're looking for is any water seepage. there and then the next place would be there or right there and I don't see any there Put one there. 
and then we'll check it in an hour and see if there's any seepage on any of that. And we should be good. It doesn't say. <laughs> Don't break your kitchen faucet. Okay. And if you do, Buy an RV faucet, not a residential, because it's plumbed with evidently bigger lines that don't provide the same water pressure. Or it could be just the water pressure where we're at, I don't know. 